The Gospel of Mark The Widow's Mites Mark 12:41-44. Introduction 1. At the end of the day, with the last incident of his public ministry, Jesus a. Observed people putting money into the treasury of the temple. b. Made an observation about the contribution of one poor widow. 1. The narrative. A. Putting money in the temple treasury. 1. Jesus observed people placing money in the treasury. Mark 12 41. 2. This may have been one of 13 receptacles in the area known as the women's court. 3. These receptacles were marked, indicating how the money would be used, temple tribute, wood, sacrifices, incense, etc. b. The contributions of the rich. 1. Many who were rich gave large amounts. Mark 12 41. 2. That in itself was commendable, reminiscent of the first contributions for the tabernacle. Exodus 35, 20-29 and 36, 2-7. Jesus sat down opposite the treasury, and saw how the multitude cast money into the treasury. Many who were rich cast in much. Mark 12, 41. C. The contribution of the widow. 1. One poor widow threw in two mites, Greek, leptos. Mark 12, 42. 2. Worth the quadrants, Greek, quadrantes, which was 1 slash 64th of a denarius, a day's wage. 3. If a day's wage was $25, a quadrants would be worth 75 cents, a mite 40 cents. A poor widow came, and she cast in two small brass coins, which equal a quadrants coin. Mark 12:42. D. The observation of Jesus. 1. The widow gave more than all who had given to the treasury. Mark 12 43. 2. They gave out of their abundance, she gave all she had, her entire livelihood. Mark 12 44. He called his disciples to himself, and said to them, Most assuredly I tell you, this poor widow gave more than all those who are giving into the treasury, for they all gave out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, gave all that she had to live on. Mark 12 43-44 2. Some observations. A. A lesson for disciples. 1. Note that Jesus called his disciples to himself. Mark 12 43 2. This indicates that the teaching was intended for them and for all subsequent disciples. J. A. Brooks NAC. What can we learn from the example of the widow's mites? B. The value of a gift. 1. It is well to remember that God measures giving, not by what we give, but by what we keep for ourselves. R. A. Code. TNTC. 2. The value of a gift is not the amount given, but the cost to the giver. J. R. Edwards. PNTC. 3. God measures the gift by the sacrifice involved. 2 Samuel 24 24. A black. C P N I V C. 4. The Lord estimates giving by our motive, our means, and by how much we have left. This is a great encouragement to those who have few material possessions, but a great desire to give to Him. Believer's Bible Commentary We learn that the liberality of the poor is often greater than that of the rich. C. The importance of a person. 1. What matters in God's sight is not what a person has. 2. But the devotion which causes one to give even at great personal cost. 3. Thus even the poorest of the poor can be rich in faith. James 2, 5 we learn that people should be measured by their faith, not their wealth. D. The approval of voluntary poverty. 1. Many today would criticize the widow. A. For not providing for her future. 
B. For her lack of foresight and prudence. C. For becoming dependent upon Israel's welfare system. Deuteronomy 24 19 21 and 26, 12 13. 2. Yet her voluntary poverty is just one example found in the scriptures. A. Jesus chose a life of voluntary poverty. Luke 9 58. B. He counseled some to do the same in their service as a disciple. Luke 18 22. C. Teaching his disciples to be trust God's providential care. Matthew 6 31 33. We learn that voluntary poverty can be a viable option for some disciples. E. Jesus is still watching how people give. 1. The giving of Ananias and Sapphira did not go unnoticed. Acts 5, 1-11 2. Those who give liberally and cheerfully will be noticed. 2 Corinthians 8, 1-5 and 9, 6-7 3. Just as all that we do is noticed by God. Hebrews 4:13. We learn that our giving does not escape the careful eye of our Lord. Conclusion 1. The story of the widow's mites should prompt prayer for reflection. A. Regarding our own giving to the Lord's cause, to charity. B. We may think we excel at giving, but do we really? 2. The story of the widow's mites also prepares us for what is to come in Mark's Gospel. A. She exemplified sacrificial giving in the service of the Lord. B. Soon we will read of the Lord who gave all in service to us. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that your through his poverty might become rich. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 The End The Gospel of Mark The Widow's Mites Mark 12 41-44